Hello, dear friends. Welcome to Shiksha Mantra. So, let me try something. Before I uh, start this discussion, I was uh, trying to check if this particular object, if I leave it, will it go up or it remains where it is? But every time I'm dropping it, it's getting down. Now, if I ask you, why is it uh, getting so? You'd say, sir, the answer is very simple. What's the answer? The answer is obviously gravitational force. It's for gravitation that the object is getting downwards every time I leave it. Oh, look, every time I leave it but it might go up if it goes against gravity and if it goes up against gravity would say that this is anti-gravity but you know surely it's not going to happen but is it possible that in english grammar something goes against gravity that means grows against the rules or the definition with which we know it yes dear friends that's also possible we have indefinite pronouns and it works against the definition or the rules that we follow in our english grammar so let's check how indefinite pronouns works in anti-gravity. Let's begin the discussion. So, dear friends, here we are going to discuss about indefinite pronouns. But leave the word indefinite. First, we are going to have focus on the word pronouns. And if you find out what pronouns says or what pronouns mean, you would easily understand why we are calling it anti-gravity. So, what's the definition of pronoun? You know, pronoun is that verb or words which we use in replacement of a noun. So, when we need replacing a noun, we use another words for it and that we call pronouns. So this is the most important factor that we would have to understand. So whenever we are replacing a noun with another word that's a pronoun, it simply means we are quite aware of the noun itself. So, how it goes? Let us uh, take another uh, example for this and obviously we are going to find it uh, very much easy. So, let's check how it works. If we say Raju is my brother. Now, here we may say that this is the noun which we are going to replace. So, what we would say? We may replace it with he and we may say he is my brother. Now, check dear friends. If we ask you who is he, you would answer very easily that he means Raju. So, we have replaced this noun with a pronoun and quite consciously. So, we are quite aware of the noun and whenever I ask you who that he, who that pronoun is, obviously you would answer very easily. There is no chance that you won't say who that noun, I don't know. So, how a pronoun can be indefinite? It's always definite because we are replacing the noun with a pronoun. So, the pronoun must reflect, the pronoun must reflect back that noun and tell us 
which noun it is so there's no chance that we may get an indefinite noun but how this indefinite noun is uh, getting into being so let's uh, check this example zim gave me this book so here zim is the noun now if we have to replace this with this pronoun would say he gave me this book so we are quite aware of the noun we know that this pronoun he means zim so zim is always the noun which is replaced with he and he is always definite there's no chance that we may call it indefinite it's definite now sometimes it happens when we write down the same sentence as someone gave me this book so we are replacing zim with someone now if i ask you who is that someone you won't have an answer this is a pronoun and there's you don't have any confusion someone this is a pronoun but the pronoun fails to declare the noun so very very keenly if you observe it what's happening we aren't replacing this pro pronoun we aren't using this uh, pronoun instead of a noun so here the very idea that is uh, produced in the definition of pronoun is not being followed so it's not following the definition indefinite pronoun is not following the definition so it's anti gravity it's going upwards instead of coming downwards so it's acting opposite direction it's acting in the opposite direction how it is we fail to find out the noun so it's not a replacement at all so here for the indefinite pronouns the definition of pronoun is not being followed so the definition of pronoun won't work for indefinite pronouns so what's indefinite pronoun what is the definition for the indefinite pronouns let's check it out here what we call indefinite pronoun for indefinite pronouns we do not refer to a specific person place or thing so whenever we are talking about indefinite pronouns we aren't saying about any specific person place or thing so just have a good observation of the word specific that's why it's indefinite but for all the other nouns you'd get something specific it's a replacement for that noun but indefinite pronoun is not that so it's anti gravity how it works if i say i won't tell your secret to anyone you can't say which person we are referring with anyone it's not any specific person rather it's a general uh, concept that has been placed here a random person not a specific person there it's defying the laws of pronouns and becomes indefinite so for indefinite pronouns we have some other factors which are very important and we must remember them in english there's a particular group of indefinite pronouns formed with a quantifier or distributive preceded by any sham every and no so these are the things we are talking about any some every and no so when these quantifiers or distributives preceded a pronoun or some other things we form different types of indefinite pronouns which we use for different purposes so here we are talking about the formation of pronouns and we form the pronouns to serve our purpose how it works to get this obviously we have 
to observe very keenly this particular table and we'd get everything whenever we are talking of pronouns you must remember that we are talking about a person place or thing it can be either a person or a place or a thing so first when we mean all this is the very important factor here when we mean all for person we use everyone and everybody for place we use everywhere and for thing we use everything just follow it observe it keenly and you'd understand what's the basics of indefinite pronouns how they are formed and why they are formed and at the same time you'd understand the uses of those words of those indefinite pronouns and you don't make any mistake in using them well in your sentences because whatever you learn in english grammar your goal is to use them in your language very successfully so let's talk about the next one when we think of part and obviously in a positive way we use someone somebody for person somewhere for place and something for thing and when the same part is considered negatively there we do anyone or anybody for person anywhere for place and anything for things so remember any any everywhere you would get any and that any means negative so for indefinite pronouns any suggests negative ideas that's what you'd remember you must remember it and when we say none zero nothing absolute zero nothingness we use no one and nobody for person nowhere for place and nothing for thing so this is the very basic concept about indefinite pronouns and if you follow it well obviously i'm sure you would never make any mistake in your uses of indefinite pronouns and that's my goal that's the goal of shiksha mantra so if you want to actually stay with us for these discussions and learn english grammar in a different way with some different concepts obviously you'd have to like and subscribe our channel with bell icon being pressed that means with all notifications we are returning very soon with another very fresh discussion regarding english grammar or english language till then bye bye happy learning